Hello, now we're going to do some solving systems of equations by substitution method. Now, substitution method usually means that we are given something that equals one of the letters, like the x equals or the y equals. And what you're essentially doing is, see how this is y equals and we have a y right here? You are going to take this and you're going to plug it in to that y right there. So then you're going to rewrite that top line, and you're going to have a 7x plus 4, parentheses, x minus 14, close the parentheses, equals 10. And now you notice we only have one letter. We no longer have two letters we're dealing with. But after we solve for the x, we do have to insert it back in to solve for the y. So this is initially what we're doing first. So now we have to do the thing called distributive property. So I'm going to have my 7x plus my 4x. And I have to give my 4 to my 14, which is 56. And we're going to be a negative 56 because positive 4 times negative 14 is negative 56, equaling 10. We can combine these like terms. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11x minus 56 equals 10 plus the 56, plus the 56, 11x equals 66, divide by the 11, divide by the 11, x equals 6. And now we have to take the x equals 6 and plug it back into the easier of the two equations. Now, I would plug it back into the bottom one because this one's a little more complex. So you rewrite the bottom y equals x minus 14. Now remember, you could plug it into either one of these top two. It doesn't matter. x was 6, so in place of this x, we're going to have a 6. And we solve for y this time. So we have 6 take away 14. So 6 take away 14 means we're going to O, and we're going to O8, because 8 and 6 make 14. But 6 having $6 and owing 14 means you owe 8. So we have a positive 6 as the x value and a negative 8 as the y value. And if we were to graph these two, that's the point of intersection. That is all for one problem of substitution. So you can rewind this if you need to see it again. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this part so I have more space. Okay. So we're going to take this and insert it in for that y. So I have a negative x plus 7, 6x minus 20 equals negative 17. Distribute, so I got negative x plus 42x minus 140 equals negative 17. These two can go together for a 41x minus 140 equals negative 17. Bringing the 140 over. 41x equals 123 divide by 41 and remember we got to put it on both sides so if we got to put it on both sides we'd have 123 divided by 41 x equals 3 and now we have to plug it back into one of the top two equations i would say pick the bottom one because it's easier. So I rewrite the bottom one. And in place of this x, I'm putting a 3. 6 times 3 minus 20. 18 minus 20. So y equals negative 2. 18 minus 20 is a negative 2. Well, some kids do keep, change, change, which is fine. And our coordinate pair is positive 3, 
negative 2. Okay, like I said, if you need that again, you can always rewind it to get that. And we're going to move to the bottom of this page. Okay, so this is the y equals. Remember, you can have x equals 2. These just happen to be the 4 that I pulled. This all goes in here. So I rewrite 5x minus 2, parentheses, negative 3x minus 16, parentheses, equals negative 23. Watch these signs. Negative, negative forms positive. So we have 5x plus 6x, negative times a negative is a positive, 32 equals negative 23. Put these together. Remember, if I'm too fast, you can slow me down in your settings. You can speed me up if I'm not fast enough. You can rewind me, do all of that. Minus the 32, minus the 32. This is where some kids get a little confused. Negative, negative, make a bigger negative. Not multiplying, we're just adding, combining like terms. 30, 40, 55, minus 55, negative 55, 5 by 11, x equals negative 5, and we're going to plug it back in. So I would plug it back into the top one, and in place of my x, I'm putting a negative 5, negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15. And we're going to take away 16, 15 good guys, 16 bad guys. Bad guys are going to win by 1. And my coordinate pair would be negative 5, negative 1. That's that one. Last one. Here we go. I plug this in for this. Negative 3x minus 5 parentheses 2x plus 6, close it, equals 22. Distribute, distribute. Negative 3x minus 10x minus 30 equals 22. That's bad looking 3. There we go. Together that makes negative 13x minus 30 equals 22 plus 30 plus 30, 13x negative equals 30, 40, 52, divide by negative 13, divide by negative 13. And the key thing is here, guys, please don't forget the signs. A lot of kids are missing that piece. So x equals positive divided by a negative is a negative, and that'd be a negative 4. That's for the x value. Now we have to pick one of these. And you start to pick the one that looks easier. And to me, it's a lot of work for one problem. There's so many parts to this. So we have y equals, in place of the x, we're going to put a negative 4. And then we have y equals negative 8 plus 6. y equals negative 2. And our coordinate pair would be negative 4, negative 2. And as always, this is Miss Bobby, and I heart math, Diet Coke, and cross.